Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are back to our regularly featured um, lineup as far as videos, I guess you can kind of say. So I will be right back with not a local yarn shop tour, but a local fiber arts shop tour. So I'll be back in a sec. So welcome back everyone as i said this is natalie with natalie's closet and i am excited to be back to our regular programming so to speak uh, mondays local yarn shop tours or in this case local fiber arts shop tour and then of course wednesday small online business and then getting to know you on either friday saturday or sunday whatever day it goes up but um and i was actually planning on having at the very least this week's videos pre-recorded having taken some time off, but the schedule has very seriously been so ridiculously crazy that I didn't get a chance to. And I, I've been having issues, not necessarily with my Wi-Fi, but with my editing software. And I, I don't know if YouTube was having an issue, but um, yeah, so I don't know if this actually ended up getting up today on Monday or if it's up like Tuesday morning. And I apologize if it's Tuesday morning, but yeah it's just been one thing after another and i didn't end up getting it recorded until later in the day because i had a bunch of the saturday we had our um like i think we do it twice a year our bug spray guy he comes and he sprays outside inside everything you know and and just to protect the house and and the property of any major whatever but when he comes, we end up, you know, taking stuff out from underneath the sinks and then, you know, covering any foods, the food areas and stuff like that, just because that's what we do. I don't know if everybody does that, but we do that. And so, um, I had a lot of stuff to move <laughs> and it took me until today, Monday to get everything back. And, you know, I washed the floors and I was doing a bunch of stuff and it was a crazy day and I've been having to kind of watch Miley because she hurt her paw and I'm not sure exactly how and the vet won't prescribe anything to help her with any pain because she is limping she limp now today she's been limping on and off but um she said to monitor her make sure she only goes out on the leash she can't just run freely outside because she doesn't want her jumping on the fence and running like she does like a bat out of he double l miley your peeps say hi back um miley quiet um anyway so she said give it a couple days and then see if it gets any better if not i need to bring her in so that she could get an x-ray or something make sure nothing's worse but she's very stubborn and inside the house um I, there's no way for me to keep her from jumping up and down off the bed so i have to like try to make sure she does it gently yeah, that's been very difficult, <laughs> but I can't give her her sedative because her sedative actually freaks her out more and she tries to fight it so badly that it it almost does the opposite for her. So I'm, I'm just having to kind of keep her calm and quiet and not crazy like she loves to be. Uh, crazy as in so overly active. She's a Belgian Malamont. They are hy hyper. They like to be working. They like to be doing stuff. And she can't be in that drive. So batty. But anyway, she was just saying hi to her peeps. Well, actually, she was probably saying to the cat that she wants to go and chase him. But I'm going to say she's saying hi to her peeps because she misses you guys. And anyway, so sorry about that. Long long way around that. But, you you know, I'm, I'm back. So wanted to give you a little bit of update and I may have to pause this because she may just continue talking to the cat. Miley, quiet. Good girl. Maybe not such a good girl. <laughs> she is a good girl. She's a very good girl, but she likes to say things when she wants to say things. Anyway, so yes, I'm back and I'm very excited. So Yes, the scape is the same, and these are my Mother's Day cards. It's still May, so I kept them up. But anyway, the scape is the same as they have in the last couple weeks. Uh, I will change it at some point this week for getting to know you, which will be at the end of the week. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing for, like, summer. <laughs> so I'm still planning, and, and we'll see what happens. I, but it will change at some point this week. So, and I have to remember to do a multiple choice question for getting to know you. So you guys have the option of telling me what changed on escape 
or answer the question. And for those of you that may be new and not know what I'm talking about, every week I do a getting to know you episode where we talk about stuff that's gone on in the last couple videos of the week. Anyway, on there, I do a subscriber of the week and you can either let me know what day, what changed on my scape up here and enter for the subscriber of the week on that getting to know you episode. Or I try to do a multiple choice question every so often um, because I know not everybody likes to have to try to figure out what changed up here, but a lot of people do. So I try to make everybody happy, but subscriber of the week is something I do weekly where I choose a person out of the getting to know you comments for that week and whoever wins, I send a um, card with a set of stickers in it and that's it. But it's a way for me to be able to say thank you to you guys a little regularly um, so that I, I just really appreciate you all. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I actually had to close the blinds because she would not stop barking. But that also makes her jump up and down on the bed, which can hurt her paw some more. So I needed to really do it for her health, not just to keep her from, yeah, there she went. And she just jumped up on the bed and pounced to bark, forgetting that the blinds were closed. Anyway, back to subscriber of the week. So it's just a way for me to say thank you to you guys and pick somebody once a week to be able to get a card from me as well as some stickers. So, and, and I'll let you in to a little bit of a secret. Shh, don't tell me, don't tell anyone, but um, sometime this week I will be announcing uh, May's surprise giveaway winner. Um, and that is another thing that I try, I'm trying to do once a month where I pick on Monday and Wednesday videos when I share things from local yarn shops and or small online businesses. On those videos, you just, you comment letting me know what your favorite thing was, whether it was something I showed you or something you found on their site. And that's your automatic entry into a future surprise giveaway. And then once a month, which is what it's been, be, what it ends up being once a month, I go and I give all the Monday and Wednesday videos a number. Then I use a number generator to pick a number. And then I go to that video that was assigned that number. And then I use the random co YouTube random comment picker to pick a comment from that um, video. And that person, as long as they are subscribed to me, and um, let me know what their favorite thing was in that video, will be a winner of a surprise giveaway item which right now has been something donated from some of these local yarn shops and or online small businesses so yes i will be announcing it this week at some point so be on the lookout for that um okay so that is just a little kind of update for those of you that may be new which welcome to all of our new subscribers i am very happy that you guys are here and of course welcome back to everyone else thank you all so incredibly much for your support I sincerely appreciate every single one of you. You guys are amazing. And if you're new and haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below, as well as notification bell next to that. And if you guys wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, as well as commenting, as you all always do, and share the video, that would be absolutely amazing, and I would so very much appreciate it. And remember, in today's video, you want to make sure to let me know what your favorite item is so that you can be entered into a future surprise giveaway. And I do still have, um, I do still have our almost 1,250 subscriber giveaway um, going right now. I will put in the cards above as well as the description box and in the top pinned comments the link to it so you guys can check it out if you haven't already entered. Yes, it's been around for a while. We we're not going to get into that. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, and there was actually, I was going to mention another video that I was going to put up in the cards, but I can't remember what it was that I was going to reference to then put it up there. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So, um, as I had mentioned to you guys, I think in a couple of the videos in the last two weeks, as well as prior to my break, uh, that the plan was to go visit two stores that was going to be a day trip. I still have to do two, two or three weekend trips, but that's still being saved up for. Um, but there were two stores that I was wanting to go that were about 115, 120 miles away. Well, uh, they were both local yarn shops. Now I called one and she said, absolutely, come on down. We would love to meet you. You know, they actually asked me if I charged for this. I was like, absolutely not. This is just something I'm wanting to do to help support you guys. And you know, I may not have a really large, I, I mean, I have a small channel, <laughs> but if I can introduce 
your store to anybody that's going to be more than nobody right and she was like awesome come on down so awesome called the second store and she said unfortunately due to the circumstances in the world they're, they're still by appointment only which kind of shocked me because any local yarn shop and you all know this is local yarn shop tour or this is tour number 14 so i've been to at least 14 since everything has happened last year uh every single one of them as soon as they were able to open at any level they did and as they were able to open more they did they did they did you know and they created most of them ended up opening up in a shoppable website because they kind of had to so it surprised me when she said they're still by appointment only monday through saturday and they only have a few appointments every day so i don't know if they're in a position where their website is doing crazy business or it's just something that they're able to do without needing the income so it they're able to still do that i don't know but um, they had no appointments for last Saturday available. And she's like, you know, I would really love to be able to be featured on your, on your channel. Maybe you can come on another time. And I told her if it happens to be that I'm in that area, which in 28 years I've never been, but if I am, that's fine. But I can't right now. I can't, I can't justify driving out 120 miles for one store. That's not on the way to any other stores um but like i said if i'm ever in the area absolutely i will stop by and she's like i understand so i was like okay well now i'm only driving out to one store this is what i just said so there was a third store but i i wasn't planning on going there because it wasn't a yarn shop and i remember having seen something about how they used to have yarn but they no longer do but i thought i remembered having seen something else so i went back onto their website and they for those oh that's what it was for those of you that don't remember um the tour of four pearls in winter haven florida i will put that in the cards above as well as a link in the description box below and the top pinned comments to that video uh they have an amazing store but they also have a yarn truck it's one of two in the united states and the only one in florida i think the first and only one in florida well this particular fiber shop um they no longer carry yarn, but because they still have a lot of knitters and crocheters that are part, you know, that shop that would enjoy and do still enjoy coming there, they set up a schedule with Four Pearls to have the Four Pearls truck there on the third Saturday of every month. And this happened to be the third Saturday, and I was so excited. So I called them and I said, you know, I read on your website, and they said, yeah, unfortunately, due to everything going on in the world, the truck has been closed down for the time being. So no, they're not coming by. And I, I started talking to them. And I was like, you know what? There's no reason for me to not do a tour of your shop. You may not have yarn there, but you are a fiber arts store. And my channel is a fiber arts channel. Yes, it revolves primarily around yarn these days, <laughs> but crochet and at some point knit um but it's still fiber arts it's in the fiber arts community so i was like do you would you guys mind this is what i'm doing da, 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 da. she's like absolutely come on down we would love it okay great so now two stores so we went ahead and packed miley up got in the car she did very well considering she used to like bark 90 percent of the time now with the doggy don't maybe it's like 10 percent of the time so i'm very grateful for that but we, we loaded up the car we went and headed out so this first store which is a fiber arts store um, is called the black sheep and they are in orlando florida about 112 miles from home uh so not bad um and i forgot to ask them if they ship and if they do internationally or not but you can check out their website or you can give them a call I can't, I don't have, oh crap, I don't have a business card of theirs because I was trying to get out of there because we had to get to the other store and I forgot to grab one, but, oh, I do have their phone number though. So anyway, you can visit their website. I'll of course, of course, put the link to their website in the description, holy cow, I can't talk today, in the description box below, uh, but you can find out from them. Uh, but let me go over a couple things and we'll switch over to the tour and then we'll switch back over for you to see what I got there uh, yeah um, no I'm not getting back into this yes I did get something so I could try it again we'll go into that later <laughs> anyway um, they are a needlepoint shop and have 
all the types of fibers just in threads that we use in crochet and knitting. Uh, bamboo, silk, merino, uh, acrylic, um, all the blends, all kind, everything, every, everything. Let me tell you, I was just like, wow. And okay, let, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, anyway, so they carry designer hand-painted canvases, which are beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> they have a, a, a price tag on them, I will say, but it is a hand-painted canvas. So I get the art that's in it. And so, you know, it is, and anybody that's a needlepoint knows what I'm talking about. Uh, tons of fibers, accessories for needlepoint, but they also have crochet and knitting accessories like knitting needles and crochet hooks and notions for crocheters and knitters. And of course, they have notions for all of it. Uh, they do offer needlepoint classes, but they also um, offer knit. Oh, I bit my, my cheek. Um, they do also offer knit and crochet classes on Saturdays, which I think is awesome. I mean, you do have to bring your own materials and stuff because they don't carry yarn there but they do have a teacher there on the weekends who does teach i actually i think she primarily teaches crochet but i they also knit um and yeah so that is awesome even though they're a needlepoint store they still offer the classes so that is awesome uh oh i already told you about the yarn truck see i got ahead of myself i need to stop and remember that i wrote my notes in my handy dandy notebook, which is almost empty on this one. I go through these so fast lately. All right, anyway. Um, oh yeah, but the Four Pearls Yarn Truck, I believe as soon as they open it, they're gonna try to get back on the schedule. So when that does happen, if I don't get to visit the yarn truck at another store, I will definitely consider going back out to theirs to see that truck because I need to see the yarn truck. Yes, it is a mobile local yarn shop on wheels that means mobile <laughs> but it's on wheels with yarn they travel i mean i would just love to have a yarn shop just pull up to my my in my driveway i mean would that not be amazing oh my gosh <gasps> i wonder if i could set something like that up i'm sure not but <laughs> you never know i will try <laughs> i will ask all right um oh I'm sorry, I did have the note here. They do not have a shoppable website at this time, but if you see something, feel free to reach out to them. So if you do see something in the store, um, they have a website, so you can check some things out. It's just not shoppable. So if you do find something, I, I don't know. I can't say for sure that they'd be willing to ship it to you, but I'm, I'm guessing, depending on what it is, they might. Uh, so, you know, definitely check up, check with them on that. So we are going to go ahead and switch over to the tour and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what I got. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> I'm not even going to give you a sneak peek. All right. So I'll be back in a sec for me, but in a little bit for you, I'll be back. Have fun. Hello everyone. So we are at the Black Sheep, which is in, crap, I can't remember if it's Longwood, Florida, or if this is a different city name. I'll put it across the street if it's not Longwood, but um, it's about 100 and I think 17 miles from home, if I'm not mistaken. I'll go ahead and put that across the screen also. I apologize for the traffic. I'm trying to cover the speaker as much as I can and try to get it, you know, not have you hear it so much. Um, but this is a needlepoint store. Um, one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and do a video of this is because one of the two that I was going to do didn't, I guess is only by appointment only right now and they were completely booked today, which is Saturday. And this shop before COVID used to have the Four Pearls yarn truck, which I know several of you love the idea of back when I mentioned it when I did that shop tour back in January. But since COVID, I guess it's been, they haven't been running the truck. And it's on the third Saturday of the month, which is the third Saturday of the month. But they didn't have it. But I was like, you know what? Needlepoint is still fiber arts, right? So why not show it? So we decided since I wanted to get that other yarn store that we would go ahead and stop here also. Wow, 
wow, wow. I had no idea all the different types of threads and everything else that there are. My goodness, it's incredible. But we're gonna go through the shop. I'm gonna show you everything. The canvases that they have are hand painted. So I've never done needlepoint. So I'm not familiar with any of this. And I honestly didn't realize, I, I, I mean, I'm sure that the, the cost of the canvases are not expensive. For those of you that know needlepoint, they are hand painted. Um, so, but I, I was a little shocked. That says nothing. I know, like I said, I know nothing about needlepoint, but they are stunning. And my goodness, the different types of threads between wool and silk and combos and just wow. Um, and they have just, they have some, um, notions and crochet hooks, um, knitting needles but they don't actually carry yarn here their yarn source was the four pearls truck which hopefully once that starts back up at least i know this is one store that does get you know that the truck comes to so i'll follow and see when the truck starts back up and we'll i'll do a tour of that also but anyway uh we'll go ahead and go through here and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this tour uh so i will be back in a sec so we just walked in and this is like kind of like a sitting area look at these I mean these are incredible and they're all hand painted which like I said I know nothing about needlepoint but they're all hand painted this one is $72 um, which I can totally appreciate the hand painted of them but they're stunning um, don't be surprised if you don't see masks on in here, which um, there's only two people in here, but um, our governor has um, not mandated masks in the state and plus with the CDC also saying that they're not, you know, required, etc. They are a store that doesn't. So um, look at this. I got I'm going to show you the ones that I absolutely love too, but all right. So sorry if I'm panning you guys too fast. I'm hoping you can see everything with the lighting the way it is. But these are finished pieces that are needle pointed. Um, I guess the finishing services that there are in the, I'm guessing it's in the state, are backed up like big time. So even if you had a piece that you wanted to have sent to off for finishing, like you want you finished and you wanted to frame this or make an ornament or whatever, they're not even able to guarantee. Um, by Christmas because everybody was stuck at home and evidently needle pointing you know a lot of people were doing it and so there's a ton of stuff anyway I mean there's they're backed up with everything but these are DMC here Flausch I guess I think is the way it's pronounced but we've got all kinds of DMC threads I remember DMC threads from back when I was in grammar school when we used to make friendship bracelets and stuff but I can't remember all the different materials that are where, but I'll kind of go through them. But look, all these, uh, oh my gosh, and I got to show you some magnets that they've got. Beautiful, and the Halloween, you guys know I love Halloween. These are 60% metallized nylon and 40% nylon. Um, but they've got my colors, look at that. And they've got sparklies. Look at these colors. They're they're blown out a little bit. I mean, they're much brighter. Um, I'm not going to go around each one of these, but thank you. So they've got all these threads. Let's see. These are 96 polyester, 4% nylon. These are 50 nylon, 32 viscose. They've got bamboo. They've got cotton. They've got silk. They've got wool. This is 100% silk. Um, let me flip you around over here. Not too quickly, hopefully. Um, I think they're called canvases, right? But look, sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Look, these are things you can add on to projects. Look at those Christmas trees. But look at all these. This one is stunning. All the sparkle. That's 92 silk, 5 rayon, 3% metallized polyester. But stunningness. And I got to show you bags and stuff that they got here. I mean, seriously, I love this store. And I'm not even a needle pointer. Point, is that how you say it? Some bags. I think I'm gonna get, look at beads. Love beads, you all know them. 
obsessed with beads. Maybe not obsessed, but love beads. But check these out. Halloween. Love it. This one. Love this right here. Is that not awesome? But I'm going to show you the ones that are the other two that I saw. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to pan you, but I don't know if they want to be in the video. Uh, but sequins, how they're fun stuff. These are 72 silk, 18 rayon, and 10% metallized polyester. I'm going to take you up again because, again, I don't know if they want to be in the video. And I don't want to assume and I forgot to ask. So, oh, I love that one. I mean, thread everywhere, people. All kinds of thread. And look at this wall of fun. I mean, seriously. Wall of fun. All kinds of stuff. And they have someone here that actually on Saturdays comes in and teaches crochet and knitting. They welcome everybody that wants to come in, work here, just hang out with them, whatever. Um, ooh, look at doggy. Miley's with us in the car with my mom right now. But um, I don't know if you could see the sparkle. You see the sparkle? I love it. Anyway, so I'm going to go through this wall mm -hmm, in a little bit without you guys. Sorry. Um, I don't want to bore you through all of it. Ooh, is that Halloween? No, that's Christmas. Anyway, um like my nails blingy blingy <laughs> that's hollow anyway okay sorry got sidetracked um what was i saying seriously i can't remember what i was saying um but oh yeah they welcome knitters crocheters anybody that wants to come in here and hang out feel free they just are not a yarn store they are a needle uh, needle work you know needle point sorry all right, so more thread. Let's see what this is. This is DMC, but I can't remember and I can't see. You guys will probably know any of you that use it, but um, Pebbly Pearl 100% moisturized cotton. Look at the some of the variegated. Um, that's the Flosh, I think is how it's pronounced. But look at all the colors. I, those are coming out more hot pink in my camera than they actually are. But uh, we've got silk. This is straw silk. Beautiful. I love this color. You all know. Blue. Yes, sir. Or ma'am. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Man overboard. But look at that pink. And that pink is that pink. What? Beautiful. All right. So... Here's some more. <gasps> Look at this. I love it. I love it. That would be so awesome. And this. Uh oh, I hope I don't get a strike for this. Man, I'm going to try to talk over the music maybe a little. And Look at these. Is this not stunning? What is this? 100% silk. This is amazingly soft. But look at that color. It is definitely a royal blue. Um, you know what? I'm going to be right back. Hold on a second. Okay, I asked them if they could turn down the music while I did the video because I really would rather not get a copyright strike, but I want to be able to talk to you guys instead of do a voiceover, which would I remember everything I was saying? Probably not. Um, so this one is Gloriana. Uh, trying to see. Oh, okay. It's... A 12 strand silk from France. Beautiful. I'm telling you, they have like every kind of fiber there is. Oh, here. This is 100% six ply silk. And I guess some of these things will tell you how many like plies to use. Here. Some more amazingness. This is wildflower. I forget which one this is. Hand dyed cotton. And it, oh, here is where it tells you how many strands to use, whether you're using cross stitch or needle point, which is very cool. Okay, let's go here. But look at all of this. I think this is different. Three ply Pima cotton. Some variegated stuff. Look at that. Love ladybug. Or love bug, sorry. 
And let's get back to this wall. These look interesting. River silks. 100% silk ribbon. That looks stunning. Oh, here. Look. That is very cool. Very cool. People, you need to tell me. Do not get into another fiber art. Because you all know I don't have time to crochet, much less start anything new. But these are 100% silk. Beautiful. Then we've got... Okay, so these are the colorways. And this is Vineyard Silk. But look at all this. And they have um, the canvases all up on top. But it's this not. I mean, I seriously could get lost in here. And I don't even needlepoint. This is cool. I think we passed by the bamboo, actually. Um, but they have bamboo. All kinds of fun stuff. Let's see what this is. Impressions, 50% silk, 50% wool. Look at that. Okay, this one right there um, is purple. Wait, hold on. This one right here is purple. But it looks, okay, and there you can see it's purple before it looked blue to me. This is 50 silk, 50, is that same mohair? I can't tell what the other, ooh, watermelon. Oh, you all know I'm all about watermelon. More here. And then here. The, oh, look, Groot. <laughs> Love it. But they do have these for the to make hats. Um, the top of this. And um, more thread down there. Now, remember, guys, let me know what your favorite was that you guys saw. Oh, my gosh, I love this. You all know. I already said Halloween, my thing. Um, let me know what your favorite is. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I can always reach out to them and ask. Um, if, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, look. Here's some variegated ones, which are awesome. Look at the doggies up, up there. Yes, Miley's in the car. I think I said that. This is Threadworks. 100% cotton, but isn't that stunning? Oh, love it. But, yeah, so let me know what your favorite is for entry into a future surprise giveaway. And if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, that's fun. 100% ran. I guess um, there's, I think she said um, a little, I don't know if it was a girl, but a little kid that calls that caterpillar. So that's what she calls that now. Um, oh, wait. I think I missed something here. Ribbon floss. But I want to go see the bamboo. Did we look at this? Yes. This is the silk. I think the bamboo was somewhere over here, I think. Nope, that's silk. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I have bamboo. But I got to show you the one that I love. So there's two rooms in here, plus the front where they had those chairs. Let's go right here. Look at, they have these kits. Which is cool. Got another one down there. We got some books. Ooh, what's that? Just stitches I use. <laughs> First stitch. Okay. We also have, sorry guys, I panned you guys too fast. A crochet answer book, knitting answer book. Here they've got hooks and needles. They've got some notions up here, but look at this. Is that not stunning? Do you see the 3D effect of it? Unbelievable. Look at that flamingo. It's got sparklies. Look at this. There's the raw or blank and the finished. Stunning. Look at this one. Is that incredible? Incredible. Like seriously, people. Look. I love I love the avocados. No, that's pear. That's not avocado, that's pears. Sorry. All right, I'm going up because, again, I don't know if they want to be in the video. A camel. Some scissors. Mini stretcher bars. 
Okay, these are okay. These are all magnets. But check them out. Are they not awesome? I want this one, and then I gotta show you a glow in the dark Halloween one. <gasps> Look, Grinch. Too cute. And these whisper furs. What is it? Mohair. Seventy kid mohair. Thirty nylon. It's funny because all this is what we see in yarns too, but look at that one. It's a dog and a cat. Too cute. Okay, I gotta show you their bags too. Look, this would match my my big bag my mom bought me, remember? But check it out. He's glow in the dark. <laughs> Love it. But look it. I love this bag. There's one that's slightly larger. This one is 44, not bad. Um, that one is the one I was looking at. Yeah, I may have to get one of these. Have to, I guess not. Want to? Yeah, totally. But another wall, I think this is floss. This floss, I don't know, but, um, but you see the sparkle? Stunning, stunning. Very nice. Look at these bags. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of these. They're massive. They could probably fit. I don't. I wouldn't say like a maybe a full size. No, maybe like a large baby blanket or something. But gotta show you. Oh, look at these guys. Aren't they cute? Oh, wait. Look at this bag. Is that not stunning? And it's huge. It's huge. It's got a box bottom. Well, it's not really a box. It's like round bottom. But that one's beautiful, too. But check out some of these. And then I think of... Oh, wait. Look at these guys. Those are all needle pointed. Is that not amazing? Oh look, the black sheep up there. But look, here. Is this not stunning? But this one, I love this one. See the little bit of glitter or sparkle? And that one, I love. Love, love, love. And then this one, look at the colors. Is that not amazing? Okay guys, so that is the black sheep needle point taught here this is the black sheep so remember let me know what your favorite is so that you can enter a future surprise giveaway and it could be if i do end up getting something from here it could be something i show you that i got or it could be something you saw in here if you have any questions please let me know i'm going to find out if they have a shoppable website or not and i will let you guys know um otherwise yeah can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about, look at this. This is incredible. I mean, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Okay, anyway, so I'm going to get going. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back with showing you anything I may have gotten while I was here. Shh, I can't do needle point two, but you never know. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so what'd you think? I know. I walked in. And the thing is, is I have a needle point shop near me. I wasn't going to tell you that. Anyway, I have one near me that I did, never did because, again, it wasn't the yarn shop. And the question has come up by a very dear, dear, dear friend. Is it a local yarn shop when it's 120 miles away from me? <laughs> it is because it's still a small business and it is local to someone. Not to me necessarily, but it is local to me when I'm there right so anyway um but i do have a needlepoint shop here and i've been trying I, I called last week when i was going to be able to get there and ask but the lady said i'll need to speak to the owner i'll get back to you but i never got a call back so i need to reach back out things have been crazy um i need to reach back out to see if it's okay so that i can hop over there to do a tour there also because when i walked into the shop i was like Oh my gosh. I mean, back when I did cross stitch or embroidery, which, you know, those are embroidered pillows right there, Ukrainian embroidered pillows. When I used to do embroidery, as we call, we have always referred to it, or cross stitch, um, 
yeah, we had the, um, what is it? N is it NDS? Whoopsie. Um, the little hanks of thread and stuff. Is it NDS? I can't remember. Um, oh my God, no. D D DMC, DMC. NDS. Where did that come from? Seriously? Anyway, yeah, we had the thread, but not... <laughs> I would never have dreamed of a shop like this. I mean, I walked in and I was like, holy cow. Of course, I did I did my own tour of the store so I could get acquainted with everything. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to start from the outside. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, craziness. I mean, so much stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and, oh, I should have pulled this stuff out and had it prepared the way... Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on guys. Let me just take all this stuff out and then I will uh, share with you what I got. Yeah, DMC. NDS. I swear. I, I sometimes, I really wonder about myself anyway. So the first thing I got, or one of the first things I got was this magnet. It's of the black sheep. Can you see? I think the glare is gone. Anyway, it's the black sheep, and they had a sheep out front, which was really cute. And it goes into the story about how and why she started this. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna actually, if there's not if there's not too much glare, I'm just gonna show it up here. So if you want to pause, I don't want to have to read it because that's just gonna take too much time. But if you guys want to pause it or take a screenshot, feel free. But that I'm hoping it's coming out. It's all coming out. Is that better? I don't know, but here, take a screenshot. Hopefully it works. But the interesting thing about this magnet, it is an intensely strong magnet. I mean, I'm talking strong. And it says not, if you have like a pacemaker or something or anything like that, don't have it, like don't put it near you because it can like, yeah, it's a strong magnet, which it was a good thing. I don't have a pacemaker, but it's a good thing I decided to read this because I saw all the different things on it. But anyway, I love it. It's uh, it's for me. Sorry, this isn't for a giveaway. I mean, I guess you never know. Maybe one day I'll decide I'll give it away, but it's it's for me. I'm being selfish. Anyway, you all know when I went to the good to a good yarn, I was telling you about their like vinyl or their plastic bags that they have, like um, project bags, and I really wanted one. Yeah, I couldn't resist. Boy, I just bit my lip again. Couldn't resist at the black sheep. So I got this bag. I'm going to put my hand over here. So if you want to, if you can get the phone number, I'll just read it out. I'll put it across the screen. The phone number is, it's right across the screen, 407-894-0444. But I love this bag. It is so large. It's, I mean, not so large. They have them that are like big enough to hold, okay, maybe not a queen size full, like a fully completed queen size blanket. But let me tell you, it can fit a massive blanket. I mean, they have like two different ones that are huge. But I mean, this is a pretty good size. And this has its own pocket over here in here and then this is pretty deep i mean it's pretty deep if you ask me so a pretty decent size project can fit in here so i had to get this because i just could not resist and i wanted to get one that was large enough to do like a large shawl and or even a baby blanket so i went ahead and got something that was big enough for anything except like big big blankets you know what i mean yeah, I could start a big blanket, but it's certainly not going to, you know. Anyway, no, that is not all I got. No, I am not getting back into needlepoint, which I used to cross-stitch or embroider as we refer to it, but it was cross-stitch. I am not getting back into it. I don't think. <laughs> um, but I could not resist. Now, okay. I can't remember if in the video you could see some of the prices of the canvases, but like one of one of two of the, one of the canvases that I really liked, I think was like sixty five or seventy dollars, and that was a smaller one, and on the lesser part of the scale. Um, I mean, they had some that were two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars just for the canvas, and I totally get that it is hand painted, and and I understand that completely, one hundred percent, but. 
seeing as though I'm not planning on getting back into it, but I wanted to try it with, because I never went off of a painted canvas and we never worked off of canvas. It was actually off of like something, like if we were going to make a pillow or if we were going to make a blouse or something like that. And we actually worked into the fabric and, and, and cross stitch. So I didn't have, I had a pattern on a sheet of paper, but I didn't have, I, I wasn't like basically coloring by number, you know, that's kind of sort of what this idea is because it's all colored and you use yarn that, you know, is, is similar to those, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So, um, I wanted to get something that was on the less expensive side, like the least expensive side so that I could try it and see what I thought and then go from there. Well, yeah, but then you need to also get all the thread too, right? <laughs> anyway, so this is the um, canvas I got. I thought it was really cute. I love the purple and the orange in there. Um, and I can't remember how much this was. I think it was like 15 or $16, something like that. So not bad. Um, and then they gave me two needles. Um, and they also gave me like a little instruction or like a directional sheet right there that kind of um, explains the continental way of doing it and the um, basket weave. So I don't know if you guys want to take a screenshot of that if you're even interested or not. But um, they gave me that so that I can kind of follow that. Plus she's like there are a ton of YouTube tutorials so you know just go ahead find one that you like. I think I found a couple that I liked. I just haven't started this. First of all, I wanted to wait until I actually recorded this, but I was planning on pre-recording it so that I could get to this, and then just that never worked out. So as far as the threads that I got, I, of course, got white to go into all the white spots in that grid. So I got white. I decided to go with white versus a cream because I'm really not a cream person, so I got the white to go in there. I did forget, I didn't get actually any color to go around it, um, which I should have. And I forgot, I mean, I do have black, so I could always outline the circle in black. And I could also outline, if you see his hands have an outline and his face have an outline. I didn't actually think about the black for that, um, but I could use the black for that if I wanted to. But I did get black for his face, for his eyes, and his nose, and his mouth. And like I said, I could do the outline with it as well. I don't know if I have enough. I should have enough. Because the DMC, DMC I forget how many yards these are. Um, they have, I think, all the colors that DMC has available, which is a million of them. Okay, I don't... Oh, five meters. So... I don't know if that's enough or not. <laughs> I have no idea, but hopefully it is. Anyway, so then for the red, okay, she said, I said, well, okay, what kind of, I'm so sorry, I'm warm. Um, she, I said, what kind of threads do I use? And she said, well, it depends on what you want. It depends on if you're wanting to go like really inexpensive or if you're wanting to go sparkly. Um, hello, did she know me or what? And she never met me before. I said, uh, sparkle any place I can. She's like, okay. Well, these were, I think, a dollar seventy or dollar some. I think dollar seventy or dollar seventy five a skein or hank. They are considered hanks. Um, so not bad. I honestly can't remember how much these other ones were. Now this this one is silk lame braid, maybe petite. It's eighteen count. I still don't understand how you determine what its size and all that other kind of stuff. I got to figure that out, but. This is 92% silk, 5% rayon, 3% metallized polyester, and there's 20 yards. Hand washable, test first, Rainbow Gallery, Burbank, California. It's rainbowgallery.com. But, yeah, baby, I got red sparkle for the grid. Uh-huh, you got that. You see the sparkle, 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 sparkles. Okay, um, I was trying not to make this too long. I apologize. And then for his for his the body and the arms I went with a velvet or it's 100% nylon but it fe it feels and looks like velvet so I went with this color oh this is getting blown out it's showing as like well no I get no it's showing blue it's really teal but it's very 
it is very close to the color on his on his shirt but it's looking like royal blue on my camera so i i don't get that but it's more teal but this is um petite very velvet and then for his for his skin color I ended up going with this one. She had a lighter one, which just looked really not, no. And then she had a slightly darker one, but it didn't, I don't know, it didn't look quite right. So I went ahead with this one. You don't have to match exactly if, I mean, if you're going to try to be really precise with the way you fill it in, you don't really have to worry about the color because the color of the painted part of it shouldn't really show. Um, I'm new at this, so I don't know what's going to happen, but you all know I like to be a perfectionist, so it may take me a while to do this thing. <laughs> now they did say with the finishing, um, the finishing part of it, you can bring it to them and they can send it off to be finished. Like if I wanted to make this like an ornament or, or, um, I don't even know, but I can make this any kind. I can make this into a topper and have like um, a jester stick or something with it. I, I mean, you could do all kinds of stuff, but the finishing part of it, because during the last year, everybody was stuck at home and all the needle pointers were needle pointing, the finishers, even around the state and even, I forget how far they set away, are like, like their schedules are jam packed. Like they're not even promising stuff for Christmas for Christmas items. Um, so I, I don't know how far from them they go as far as finding finishers, but I do know that they said that. So anyway, I'm just going to be creating this and then maybe I'll put it into a frame or something. I don't know. But then for the gold, now we picked out the gold for see how there's gold around this purple and around this box and there's gold around his jester around the orange on the jester hat well we got that gold but i totally completely forgot about the gold on his jester hat here with the little pom-poms and this little crank tool so i'm going to use the same gold on all of that but of course it's not just like a satin finish gold it's a bling gold so I got that, so that's gonna go on these little pom poms and around his, around, you know, between the purple and the orange right there and on this thing and around these boxes. It's gonna go with this gold. And then, <laughs> y'all know the rest of it is gonna be sparkle, right? <laughs> the darker purple for the box and on his jester hat is gonna be this, this sparkle purple, so that's gonna go on the darker purple sections. Of course, bling bling. This is again 72% silk, 18% rayon, 10% metallized polyester. Oh, that's different than this other one. This other one was 92% silk, 5% rayon, 3% metallized polyester. This one's 72 silk, 18 rayon, 3% um, metallized polyester. Okay, I didn't even realize that. And then for the lighter purple, I got this bling bling. For his jester collar and that center box and this is the 72 silk 18 rayon 10% metallized polyester and then for the piece that is a stance I had to have something that popped right so I got that he <laughs> wait a minute it looks so close I mean it's a little bit brighter I mean but it looks so close than what you're seeing it to me this is screaming coral but it's actually orange. Um, it's very, very, very close to the orange that's in here. So in that box and his jester hat is going to be this to make it pop. And of course it's sparkle. This is 96% polyester, 4% nylon. So what's the sparkle? I guess it's the polyester, but it's not metallized or anything. So I don't know, but look at, look at the sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Can you see it? You can see it. <laughs> but talk about all the stuff that goes into this one little tiny canvas. I mean, seriously. I had to get one, two, three, four, five, six for the white, seven skin color, eight, nine technically, nine 
spools or or hanks of fiber for this one little one little um, canvas. So I I saved money on the canvas. But then I got all the threads. <laughs> so would I have been better off spending a little bit more on the canvas and only having two or three colors? I don't know. They had some amazing things. I think I pointed them out, like the flamingos in the back. Oh, love them. Anyway, so I don't know when I'm going to actually begin. Oh, 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 oh. And this one. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> craziness, right? But that's how needlepoint works when you're working with painted canvas. So let me know what your favorite was. Was it anything I showed you? What did you find in the store? Where, what was your favorite item? Or it, you could say the whole store, you could say everything, what you showed the store, everything. You can pin out, pick out one little tiny thing, whatever. Let me, just let me know what your favorite was. You don't have to pick just one thing. You could pick a thousand things, it doesn't matter. Just let me know what your favorite is. That will be an automatic entry into a future surprise giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. It got longer than I planned. I apologize. I was going to try to keep it shorter. Um, I need to do better with that. But, but I know you guys enjoy it. So I hope you guys have a great uh oh rest of your week. I will see, or you guys will see me. Well, actually, no. I'll see you guys tomorrow night, Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on my live. Um, and... I was going to say I was going to put a poll for any members um, on a poll, but yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, and remember, I did an update to my membership, YouTube membership. I added um, the $1.99 level, and I kind of changed up all the perks. They kind of shifted throughout all the different levels. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to check the video out. I'll put the update in the cards above as well as the description box and top pinned comment. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. There's absolutely no pressure or expectation for anybody to sign up. It's just there if you choose to. So I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you guys tomorrow on my live, Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And um, otherwise, you guys will see me on Wednesday with our next uh, small online business video. Thank you all so incredibly much for all of your support. Miley, of course, says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom, as always, says hello. And we both thank you so much for all of your thoughts and prayers for us as well as any time we ask for prayer requests. You guys are very, very awesome with that. Thank you so incredibly much. And remember, for every season, there's reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And remember, if for some reason you're not wanting to share why you need a prayer, feel free to email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. Or you can reach out to me on Messenger, text message, whatever way you know how to reach me, and I will definitely add you to my prayer list. So, yeah, I think I covered everything. So I will talk to you guys soon, and thank you again, everyone, for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye.